This is one of my favorite hats. The story about this hat. The one day I didn't wear a hat, I'm walking down First Avenue and it starts to lightly drizzle and rain and I don't have a hat on. You know those uh, magazine racks and all that stuff? It was sitting right there. I literally walked past it, picked it up, put it right on my head just like this and I kept walking. And I said, that's the hat I needed to complete my outfit. Ignacio is partners uh, with Pamela Moore. Okay. And we run a business, a lifestyle business called QP and Monty. I specialize in men's haberdashery, yes. men's clothing. Uh, accessories. When did you first become interested in fashion? Like, when was the when were you were young? Like when, when I was young. Uh, my mom uh, used to work for the International Lady Garment Workers Union here in New York City. There was always sewing going on in my house. And if I wanted to do something, if I wanted something done, if I wanted to, my pants needed to get hemmed. Uh -huh. I had to learn how to. I learned how to hem my pants. And you know, I was poor. I was poor. Grew up poor in New York City. My mom used to take me to thrift stores when I was, since I was little. I always liked fashion. I've always been inspired by fashion. I like to give voice to all the different periods. And I mix them, and I do that because I think that they all can play together, play well together like good kids. I'll have jackets that are from the 20s, I'll have jackets that are from the 50s, I'll have shirts that are from the, the you know, the, the 60s, the, the vest, they had the newsboy hats. And then, of course, back in the 50s, men wore ties, and they always wore a nice shirt. I like the, the pleated pants, I like that 40s style, and I like my fobs. So is there any particular era that you would say stands out the most to you? 40s, 1940s. 1940s. I love 40s. The, the well cut suit, the quick line. I love my 50s. Big, bold, blast of color. My favorite type of wardrobe is English cuts and the English suits. I love the way they sew their clothes. They just, when you get a really good, like a Dax. It, it, it touches you. Yeah, like yeah. You're really. I, I get passionate good. about it. I feel it when I look at yeah. clothing. I feel it. I see when others wear something and they're really passionate about it. You, know, you get all dressed up and they all, you get everybody gets so happy. Like you look in the mirror, you're like, man, that's me. Man, I look good. I'm gonna kill them tonight, y'all. <laughs> I like positioning things and trying to fit them in. And in my head, I could actually see the piece fitting together. Yeah. I could visualize it. I could see it, you know, I'm gonna wear the hat like this. Yeah. You know, I'm gonna do like oh, this. Am I gonna, is it gonna be like this? Do I want this look? You know? <laughs> so it's recreating something. It's putting your own spin to it. My own spin to it. My best outfit has been being late. But because I was out of desperation, I, I gotta get fast. Oh, boom, oh, oh, boom, oh, yeah. Okay, this, dun, dun. Let me tell you about the outfit. <laughs> I never got so many compliments Ever, ever. Like, I was walking down the streets, young dudes, hip hop dudes, with their girlfriends, were like, yo, my dude, that's tight. What would you say is special about New York when it comes to fashion? Oh, people let it out. New York and LA, people let it out. But because of the nature of New York, where you can be almost anonymous. The other day, I was walking down the street and I saw this woman. She was wearing a really gaudy, shiny outfit, but she paired it so well. She had the vest to match the shirt, to match the pants. It would not be something that I would wear, but it inspired me for an idea. I saw this cat, uh, he was walking up 7th Street. He had on his boater's hat, plaid jacket, a slamming vest. He looked boom. I had to say, I'm sorry, please forgive me. I, I gotta take your picture, sir, if it's okay with you, because you look amazing. And that, what does that do? That inspired me. So I go home, I'm like, damn, I ain't getting dirty. I gotta dirty. set my game I gotta up. Set my game up. <laughs> Cause I gotta look good, and I wanna look like that. I've made my my life work part of my daily life. Yeah, I like to take risks. Yeah. I like to go above and beyond. I wanna push myself. Um, you know, uh, I know a lot of people don't like Rick Ross, boss, but uh, he does have a song that says he calls it Pushing It. I would never imagine that you would have just quoted Rick Ross. Rick Ross, <laughs> boss. <laughs>